Frigidaire Refrigerator Model GRSS 2652AF Troubleshooting Frigidaire Gallery Series 36-inch freestanding side-by-side -side refrigerator with 25.6 cubic feet capacity, 3 glass shelves, external water dispenser, crisper drawer, ice maker, automatic defrost. Troubleshooting Where can I find my model and serial number? Your refrigerator model and serial number location may vary, but is most commonly found along the upper left side wall of the fresh food compartment for top freezer refrigerators. For side-by-side, -side, French door and multi-door refrigerators, the model and serial number can be seen along the upper right side of the fresh food compartment and is visible when the door is opened. Why does my refrigerator run most of the time? Is this normal? Depending on the type of compressor your refrigerator has could impact how frequently it runs. It is normal for the compressor to go on and off frequently. The thermostat keeps the refrigerator at a constant temperature. Single speed compressors most top freezer and side by side refrigerator models. It is normal for the refrigerator to work longer when the room or outside weather is too warm or hot. If the refrigerator doors are opened too frequently or too long allows warm air to enter the product and therefore causes it to run more often. Freezer temperature may be set too cold. It is recommended to set the refrigerator section to a warmer setting. This will adjust the freezer temperature. Allow 24 hours for the temperature to stabilize. Check the door seal gasket. Air leaks in the door seal gasket will cause the refrigerator to run longer in order to maintain desired temperatures. Condenser may be dirty. What is the recommended temperature settings for my refrigerator? If your refrigerator was just installed, it takes about 24 hours for the temperature to stabilize. It is preferred that you do not adjust the temperature from the recommended setting during the first 24 hours. For refrigerators with electronic controls most side-by-side -side and French door refrigerators, fresh food compartment should be set for 37 degrees Fahrenheit and the freezer should be set for zero deg. If you have a multi-door refrigerator with a custom flex temp drawer, it is recommended to set the fresh food compartment at 39 degrees Fahrenheit. For refrigerators with dial controls, an indicator mark for normal will be visible. My refrigerator was just installed and the ice maker is not working. How do I fix it? If your refrigerator was just installed, there are a few things to keep in mind regarding your ice maker. Check to ensure the ice maker is turned on. The LED light on your display for the ice maker will be illuminated. Before making ice for the first time, be sure to prime the water supply system. Air in the new plumbing lines can result in two or three empty ice cycles. Also, if the system is not flushed, the first ice cubes may be discolored or have an odd flavor. Your ice maker is turned on at the factory so it can work as soon as you install your refrigerator. If you cannot connect a water supply, set the ice maker's on-off feature to off. Otherwise, the ice maker's fill valve may make a loud chattering noise when it attempts to operate without water. After the refrigerator is installed and has cooled for several hours, the ice maker can produce ice within 24 hours. The ice maker will fill the ice bin from the rear. You must dispense some ice to force the ice forward in the bin. This will allow the ice bin to fill completely. What should I do if my ice maker is not making enough ice in my refrigerator? If you ice maker is not making enough ice, here are a few things to check. The ice maker should produce 2 to 3 pounds of ice per 24 hours, depending on usage. The ice bin will hold about 4 pounds of ice. The water filter may be clogged or overdue for replacement. If water is dispensing slowly or not at all or your water filter is older than six months, it's time to replace. The water supply line is not kinked. Sometimes this can happen if the refrigerator is pushed too far against the wall. Heavy traffic, opening or closing the refrigerator doors excessively can slow down ice production. Some models are equipped with quick freeze feature, 
Just press quick freeze on your display to temporarily increase the ice production rate. Freezer temperature is set too warm. Set the freezer control to a colder setting to improve ice production. Allow 24 hours for the temperature to stabilize. What should I do if the dispenser on my refrigerator is not dispensing water? If your refrigerator is not dispensing water, simply check the following. If your refrigerator display has been locked, it will not dispense water or ice. Press and hold the lock key on your display for 3 seconds to unlock. The water filter is seated properly. Simply remove and reinstall the water filter to double check. The water filter may be clogged or overdue for replacement. If water is dispensing slowly or not at all, or your water filter is older than 6 months, it's time to replace. How often should I change my water filter? In general, you should change your water filter every 6 months to ensure the highest possible water quality. On most models, the water filter status on your display will illuminate and prompt you when it's time to replace the filter. If your refrigerator has not been used for a period of time during moving for example, it is recommended to change the filter before reinstalling the refrigerator. When do I need to change my air filter? In general, you should change the air filter every 6 months in most models. The filter status light on your display will prompt you to replace the filter. Replacing the air filter will ensure optimal filtering of refrigerator odors. You may want to adjust this time period depending on the types and amounts of food you typically store in your refrigerator.